Welcome to the TNT Companion website. In this tutorial, we will review the basics of the tools offered on this site. Once you are logged in, you will land on the home page of the Companion website. You will notice the menu on the top of the page has tabs for Buyer, Seller, Saved Items, Marketing, and My Orders. Let's review some features of the Buyer tab. There are nine tiles with different tools. In most of the tiles, you will find input fields. Optional and required information will be designated in light gray text. Required inputs will always appear on the first tab. If you would like to dive into additional options, you can easily navigate through the tabs. Standard inputs will be pre-filled, but can be altered as needed. In the Quick Net tile, you will be able to complete a net sheet for your customer. There are four tabs at the top of this tool. In this example, I am adding the required sales price, optional property address on the general tab. In the options tab, I am adding the optional earnest money input. On the closing cost tab, you can add a custom closing cost and or edit the standard fees. In the custom closing cost pop-up window, select lender fees or other fees from the fee type menu. In this example, I'm adding a transaction service fee as an other fee. Click use once for just this calculation or click use and save to hold this as a default for this and all future calculations. To add the amount of the fee, simply click the pencil and paper icon, input the amount, and then click Use Once or Use and Save or Cancel to abandon the edit. To edit any of the other fees, click the pencil and paper icon, adjust the fee, and click Use Once or Use and Save or cancel to abandon the edit. On the splits tab, you can adjust who pays for a fee or select a fee to be a split cost. To edit, click the pencil and paper icon, adjust the fee and click use once or use and save or cancel to abandon the edit. On each of the tabs within QuickNet, you can calculate or cancel. I'm going to click Calculate. Once the net sheet is generated, you can change inputs. This feature is useful for creating multiple fee quotes consecutively. Start over, save slash email. You can name the file, click OK, then you are able to view the PDF of the net sheet or email the document. The Seller tab has similar tools as the Buyers tab. Optional and required information will be designated in light gray text. Required inputs will appear on the first tab. If you would like to dive into additional options, you can easily navigate through the tabs. Standard inputs will be pre-filled but can be altered as needed. In the Saved Items tab, you will find the items you have created and saved from the Buyer, Seller, and the marketing tabs. Clicking on one of these saved items allows you to view, email, copy link, edit, or delete. Now let's navigate to the marketing tab. There are marketing pieces targeted for buyers and sellers. You will also find educational flyers. In this example, I am creating the compare loan options piece. I'll input the required data and then click Submit to generate. The PDF document will be saved in your Saved Items tab. You can also click View Document to see the PDF or Close. Let's now take a look at the left toolbar. There you will find the My Settings menu. Once you click to expand the menu, you will find several areas where you can update your settings for use throughout the tools on the companion site. These settings will hold for all items you create until they are adjusted again. In the My Information tab, 
you can upload your photo, upload your logo, update your contact information, adjust your default county, and your account manager. In the Closing Costs screen, you can add a custom closing cost, edit closing costs for both buyer and sellers, and adjust splits for particular fees as detailed in the Buyer Quick Net Tile portion of this tutorial. In the Calculator Default screen, you can adjust the property type default from residential to non-residential, update whether or not you want to show the agent disclaimer, among some other items. Next up is Loan Defaults. In this screen, you are able to adjust the defaults for conventional, FHA, VA, and USDA loan types. The last option in the My Settings menu is Tax Rates. You are able to manually adjust the defaulted rates by county by clicking the paper and pencil icon in the Edit column. Within the Learn menu options is News, Glossary, and Release Notes. In the Contact Us menu, you will find a link to contact your sales executive and the support team. In the Mobile App screen, there is a QR code to scan so you may enjoy the companion app on your mobile device. To round out this toolbar, we have our Privacy Policy and a Sign Out option. We hope you enjoy using TNT Companion and always feel free to reach out to your sales executive with any questions or further training needs.